Good morning. This is Bobby Dupre with the Bobby Dupre Show, presented to you each Thursday morning at 7 a.m. And, of course, it replays 7 a.m. on Friday and Saturdays and Sundays at 2 p.m. And my sidekick here, Mr. Andrew Gitros. Well, good morning. You ready to go for one long hour? I'm ready. It's longest, a short hour, though. Longest half hour in television. <laughs> That's how it started. <laughs> That's how it started. But we, we should go longer, but uh, we can't buy the airtime. That's right. <laughs> they don't want to sell us that much airtime. <laughs> Uh, and and that and that's a, that's serious. We we leave out a lot every week, but uh, it's good that way. We we try to get uh, some of the good things. It's all we only talk about the good things on the Bobby Dupre show, and uh, of course we're starting our 36th year on KSLO and its affiliate now, uh, 105.3 out of Simsport, uh, and uh, of course on television we're beginning our 11th year. And uh, it's been a long run and a fun, fun run. Uh, we try to only bring good things to you and uh, things of, of interest that possibly you haven't heard uh, in other medias. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you have to add to that? Uh, I'm just following what about the What about the Internet? That's growing. The Internet. They go to kdcg.com. They can watch it live. This way they can see exactly what's going on on regular TV. Or they can watch an archive of most of our local programming from this show to the to the uh, Todd and Dr. Feelgood show with uh, Swamp and Roll. The cooking show. The cooking show. With By the what's way, the cooking cookin show uh, yesterday had uh, Christy from over at... Cafe Envie, mm -hmm. and uh, their new executive uh, chef that they've brought in, Donovan, uh, let's see, the last name is, it's a Cajun name, Melanson, mm -hmm. and uh, he's a local from the uh, Lafayette, uh, maybe Brobridge area. Home of the uh, famous pig wings. The pig wings, that's right. In mm -hmm. fact, they were supposed to have brought me a box of pig wings, but mm -hmm. they didn't have any in the freezer. So uh, I, I guess they're going to hand deliver it, or maybe I'll just stop by. They'll give you an excuse to go taste some. That, there you go. Already cooked. That's right. Uh, they, are, they are famous for that. And, of course, right now, uh, crawfish season, they're well, well known in the Lafayette area for the crawfish. So those two young ladies, Christy and her sister Julie, uh, are really attempting to bring new type dishes uh, to the palates of the folks in uh, Cadiana. How oh, about hey, that? Man, man. Fancy I'm getting today. fancy the that. Palettes. Speaking of the palates, did you see what I had on my on my palate on my plate well, you, when I got here? You and see what you got too? Uh, well, I, I I ate most of mine while we were preparing uh, the last minutes of the program. Show my picture, Mark. That way we can show exactly what it is. We got some king cake delivered to us from Vinny's Supermarket here in town. That was it before we unwrapped it, and that was it after. And then we couldn't wait. You can kick back to us now. We, we, we couldn't wait to start eating, so we got our plates out. And uh, you've been knock, knocking yours out, so mm. I wanted to hurt and show it before you ran out. So we mm. have something to show on, on the air. But Benny's Supermarket, if you're looking for any king cakes right now, you know, Mardi Gras is, what, the 21st? Is that what we figured? 21st, Somewhere? that's yeah, correct. Yeah, that's a Tuesday. Fat Tuesday's coming up. So if you want king cakes, go by Benny's. They've got every day of the week, they've got great uh, deli food. Then some good community coffee. Some good community coffee for sale there. Uh, you can go seven days a week to get, get your plates done. They'll do catering mm. for you. they got good meat done and, and, and stuffed and ready to roll. They've got great produce section. They've got imported beers from all around the world, great wine selection. Go by Benny's Supermarket and tell them we said hi to them. Uh, Mr. Benny and, and Benny Joe himself came to deliver Ça, cake today. bien, bien bon. And, of course, I don't think that uh, Benny can uh, understand French. I don't think he's don't French, know. huh? I don't know. From a, isn't he from around the Manny, Louisiana area, I, I, up in that I, I thought area. toward uh, Lake Charles, Derrida, maybe somewhere in that area. Well, yeah, well, toward. Manny's yeah, not, not far that from there. Yeah, yeah like that. I know he worked out of that one time. Right. Uh, at a, a big star store, and then that's when he came to Opelousas and mm -hmm. set up his own big star. Then he dropped the big star over the years. Nah, he's just the Benny star. Nah, he's just, <laughs> Benny is the star. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Good morning, and thank you, little Benny, for hand-delivering that to us this morning. And how about another mm -hmm. sponsor? Carl's Thrifty Way, all your medicinal needs. Go by Carl's. They can help you out with over-the-counter medications, your prescriptions as well. They've got a great gift selection there. They do gift wrap, they do home decorating ideas as well. If you gotta go and get your medicine done, go talk to the people at, at Carl's. They've got time to explain to you exactly what to expect from the prescription that you're taking. What else we got? Well, oh, Mardi Gras. Let's talk about two things there real quick. 
while, while I'm thinking about it real fast, on Monday night, that's Lundi Gras, there's going to be a band playing at the Vieux Village, mm -hmm. right there along the gates of, of the city. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's Gino Delafosse is going to play. It and is. Then, and then Mardi Gras Day itself is going to be the Franks Parade. So it's all going to be in that same area. So if you look and call Franks and you can get your permit to Under get your trailer. Understand that the weather's going to be nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's always one of the uh, funner uh, parades because everybody throws beads. Right. And uh, I was king of the Mardi Gras parade, uh, parade uh, along with my queen, Miss Cindy Veyon. Uh, she's married now. Right. But anyhow, you all know Cindy from the St. Landry Homestead, which, by the way, is one of our good sponsors on the uh, break time. Correct. And uh, Cindy's been there a whole long time. And I understand from talking with Kip Bertrand, the president of St. Landry Homestead, mm -hmm. uh, that their business is good and that it's, it's kind of a reorganization when you lose a long time uh, president and leader of an institution, a company like St. Landry Homestead. It takes a little while, but Mr. I understand Harold passed Mr. Away. Harold passed away, Harold Fontenot, but they're getting their grip and uh, they're moving on. So, uh, Cindy, uh, I had some good times back then and uh, saw the beautiful picture of you and I just recently. Mm -hmm. and one more thing on Mardi Gras, I got the note from the Eunice Group. February 11th is Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can go by the Eunice City Hall and get you a, a license so that you can pull your trailer. You've got to bring your driver's license and your proof of insurance and $30 so you can do it. Call Pat Fry, 457-8173. The weather was perfect. The crowds were huge. They had over 32 teams that signed up for the uh, gumbo cook-off mm -hmm. that was held last weekend at uh, Frank's. Uh, Chip Burleson, the owner there, and uh, Jason Hugay, the mm -hmm. owner of the Steamboat Warehouse Restaurant, teams up each year, and uh, this was the biggest one. Uh, I know and we Tim, certainly... Tim Marks helps him as well. He's one of the big organizers there Tim as well. Tim Marks, that's mm -hmm. right. I went in Friday afternoon and, and looked at the place. They've made some changes. They've taken that wall out. You remember how to, when you walked in the front, it was kind of small, you had, you had like two rooms. Two rooms. Well, now they've taken that wall completely out, and now it's just one big room. It, it's a good idea, Chip. It looks good. And uh, Tim was there making the final uh, mm -hmm. arrangements uh, uh, of getting that all worked out. And we uh, understand that the funds raised were, were, were very, very uh, needed, and, and there were quite a bit of them. And I know I want to give a donation. I, I was going to go. We got back kind of late from Lafayette. And... Uh, I know little Joe Gotcha was wants to give. If he didn't go bring his uh, Saturday or Monday, uh, y'all contact little Joe Gotcha, <laughs> and I know he wants to give. But he told me that. That's, right. I'm, I'm speaking with. I guess you could say his permission. Well, while we're talking about Jason, let's talk about Steamboat Warehouse over in that, Washington. If you want to go and get a nice dinner, beautiful ambiance, great drinks, great wine selection. Sit out on the wharf there on beautiful Bayou Catawba, the Steamboat Warehouse in Washington, Louisiana. Great local fresh seafood, good steak selection as well. Chef owner Jason Hugay, always involved in these community projects, but also just involved in some very, very good food. Go buy the steamboat. And uh, he and uh, Joey uh, from Piggly Wiggly uh, host uh, the cooking show that is presented each week here. What's cooking? And what's cooking. And uh, at the last minute, uh, Jason fell sick uh, Tuesday morning, woke up feeling bad. So they had to hurry up and call in uh, Joy, and Joy just dropped right. everything he was doing and came over and, and uh, worked with the Café en Vie, Café en Vie, on uh, what is the, what the, what's, what's the old judge's Cali Saloon Road. There you go. Also, while we're talking about Steamboat and then Piggly Wiggly and all, all the events that they do to help locally, the Opelousas Catholic School is going to have their annual Taster's Dinner. That's this coming Wednesday, February the 8th. That's next week at the Opelousas Civic Center right there on Cresswell Lane. They're going to open the doors at 6 for drinks, and then the food's going to crank up at 6.30. It's $30 a person, and you can try food from back in time, Blue Dog Cafe, Brent's Catering and Specialty, Buffalo Catering, Ca Cafe Josephine, Canatella's, Steamboat, Piggly Wiggly, I mean, there's a bunch in here. Fizos, OGH, Tony Sashery, Zia, you name it, they got a bunch. And Varsity Grill right there on Crestwell. So go buy. If you want to buy a ticket, go to Bodemullis, Piggly Wiggly, or St. Landry Homestead. Call 942-5404 for Opelousas Catholic to get tickets as well. Mm-hmm. 
Can you get something else oh, while I, I eat sure a little can. bit? Mm -hmm. How about the uh, Friends of the Library? Their function is coming up. Friends of the Library is going to be on Valentine's Day, February the 14th, over the Evangeline Downs Event Center. They're going to have a luncheon where you're going to better eat sandwiches and have a little cup of gumbo. I think the tickets are what, uh, was it $15 a piece 15. is what it was? $15 a piece that you can get your tickets. You know, you all, we already got our tickets in. But while you're there, uh, the, the uh, Secretary of State is, uh, no, it's Secretary of State, Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden will be giving a used talk. Used to be. Used to be Secretary of State. That's what I was trying to remember. He will be giving a talk on uh, the bicentennial celebration. Louisiana has been in the Union now for uh, 200 years, so you can go by and uh, hear him talk about all the events that will be going on with it and hear what's going on with our local library and help the library out. If you want more info, you can call Miss Sashery at 942-8619 or Miss Carolyn Gerald, 942 Seven six seven six. Well, I can start in just a minute because that's my last bite of cake. You, you, you got mm. frosting from one, one end to the other. Mm. <laughs> so I you stick on. <laughs> that was good. Mm -hmm. How about this? Well, well, we're hitting all the different events going on. Let's talk about the fact that it's Black History Month in February. You know, February 1st started uh, yesterday, Wednesday. So if you want to go by from February 1st through March 31st, at the Opposites Museum and Interpretive Center, there's four artistic visions, Ms. Darlene Moore, Randall Henry, Ronald Kennedy, and Ella Gilry. Different types of painting, acrylics, fabrics, uh, hand-painted things, arts and crafts, all celebrating black history. Go by and take a look at our, our, our local stuff. And tonight's Thursday from 5.30 to 7.30 is a kickoff uh, reception. Uh, the reality show, uh, The Swamp People, mm -hmm. with uh, uh, Shoot 'em. Elizabeth, shoot mm -hmm. him, Elizabeth. Right. Uh, that program has gone over real good. Now, Life on the Shrimp Boat uh -huh. is going to be a new one. It's actually called Raging Cajuns. Uh -huh. And it premiered uh, on uh, Tuesday night on the Discovery Channel at 9 p.m. So each, I imagine each Tuesday night at 9 p.m., you'll be able to watch this. This is Life of the Shrimpers right. out of Venice, Louisiana. And I'm just wondering... Castillo will see another side of three. I wonder if they've gotten permission from uh, the Raging Cajuns from uh, UL, because I'm sure that's a name that's been uh, copyrighted, uh, copyrighted, trademarked. trademarked. I'm, I'm quite sure, uh, because I, I know that, uh, what's what's the Swamp Man's name? Uh, damn, I know it just as well. Troy? Troy. Troy, uh, what, Abam? Yeah. Uh, that sounds good to me. I think it's Abam. I, I, know, they, I know he's had some... <laughs> Oh, court issues. he's made sure that Chudum is his. That's correct. And uh, others are saying it's not his. So then you go to court and you got two lawyers, two lawyer firms making money instead of just one, you see. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, that is how that uh, works, huh? it's really, really uh, interesting. Now, here's something that very interesting. It's a poverty point. I've heard of poverty point, never been there. Mm -hmm. It's a prehistoric mystery. And look at Look at the how this was designed, mm -hmm. and this is yeah. thousands and thousands, what, like Clay Bertrand would say. What thousands we would call years. Native Americans today, or they call the Indians at one time, or right. the Native people that lived here. The Native people that lived on this, and look at the from a air shot of how this was designed. Sixteen hundred years before Christ was born. That's yep. when they built all that's, that. that's when that's, that's what it says in the article. Ago. Very interesting. Again, this is Monday morning. If you subscribe to the Morning Advocate, mm -hmm. look on the, I think it's the second section of the paper, the Katiana section, on the back page every every Monday. I save all of these very interesting articles. When I get to write my book, some of this will help me. It reminds me, years ago I went over to Peru, I had won a trip. Mm -hmm. with uh, Safeco Insurance. You had a whip and one of those hats like Indiana Jones when you went? No, we, we but Peru, we, we went to the town with the little bitty ladies that you see them advertising, they greeting people when they arrive. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a funny, funny little name. Uh, I can't think Not of Chichen it. Chichen Itza. No, 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 it's no. Almost like it that, starts huh? with a P, I think. Oh, okay. I'll, but I'll, I'll, it'll come to me. A little bitty ladies with some big, big hats. Anyhow, on the second day we were there, we got on a train uh -huh. and uh, went up the uh, 